Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to another day of class with Mrs. R. I'm so glad you're here um, to learn with me today. So we're going to work on a couple of new things today. The first thing we're going to work on is the new sight word, some. It is spelled S-O-M-E, like I would like some recess time. So we're going to be working on some. We're also going to be working with uh, the PR blend um, family. So we're going to be doing a couple of different assignments today. So let's go ahead and start by me sharing my screen and I'll show you what uh, assignment you need to grab and what supplies you're going to need. So let me share that with you. Okay, so for this assignment, you're going to need a highlighter, a pencil, and a crayon of your favorite color. So I have my crayon, my pencil, and a highlighter, okay? So today we're going to be working with the sight word some, like I would like some recess or I would like some cheese. So those are different ways you can use the word some. So we're gonna start off by putting our pointer finger on the black dot and we're gonna go across and we're gonna read the word some five times, okay? So here we go, get your pointer finger ready and let's read together, here we go. Some, 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 some. Okay, so the next section says, find and highlight the word, which would be the word some. Then read each sentence. So for this part, you're going to need a highlighter, which would be a bright color. Mostly they come in um, like yellow or green um, or yellow, orange, different colors like that. So we're looking for the word some. So every time you go down the sentence and you look for the word some, you're gonna highlight it, okay? So we're just going through, every time we see the word some, we're gonna highlight it, just like that. And right here, okay? All right, so after you've done that, then we're going to read the sentences together. So if you still need a little bit more time of highlighting, this would be a great time for you to push the pause. All right, let's get our pointer fingers ready. Now, before we start reading, we need to make sure that we're looking with our eyes at the pictures. Those are going to help us figure out some of these new words. Pictures are there to give us clues to what's going on in the sentence. So here I see grapes, a pie, tea, and water, okay? So let's go ahead and try it. K and can I have, here's our new word, some grapes. Okay, let's read it again. Can I have some grapes? And you see at the end is a question mark, which means you need to change your voice and ask a question. Because if we read it like, can I have some grapes? That sounds really boring and it doesn't sound like you're asking a question. But if we read it like this, can I have some grapes? It sounds like you're asking a question and waiting for a response from someone, okay? So whenever you see this question mark, that's what that means. Let's read the next one, it's talking about a pie. Get your finger ready and let's read. Can I have some, or sight word, some pie? Let's read it again. Can I have some pie? And then there's a picture of our pie. Okay, this one's talking about tea. You can see the little tea bag and the steam coming out. Ready, point your finger, get your eyes ready and your mouth ready to read. Here we go. Can I have some tea? And then some is our sight word. Let's read it again. Can I have some tea? All right, and let's go to our last one. This is talking about water. Get your finger ready, here we go. Can I have some water? Okay, let's read it again. We'll read it a little faster. Can I have some water? All right, so for this next part, you're gonna need a pencil because the directions say, rewrite your favorite sentence. So I'm gonna grab my pencil and I'm gonna pick my favorite sentence. Well, I can tell you right now, I like, can I have some tea? Because Mrs. R loves tea. I'm not a coffee drinker. I don't like, really like coffee at all, but Mrs. R loves hot tea and I love iced tea. So I think that's the sentence I'm going to write. 
So at the beginning of the sentence, it has a capital C, and that is because at the beginning of a sentence, we always capitalize the first letter, okay? So I'm gonna make a capital C, A, N, can, and then put a finger space, capital I. Whenever you see I used as a word all by itself, it's always capitalized. Finger space, have, so I'm gonna copy this word, have, H, A, V, E, finger space, and then I'm gonna write our new sight word sum, S, O, M, E, finger space, T, T, E, A, oh, almost around the room, and a question mark. Okay, can I have some tea? So then down here it says, illustrate your favorite sentence. But if you are still working on writing your sentence, you're definitely going to need to press pause now on the video. Once you get done with writing your sentence, then you can work on your illustration or picture to go with the sentence. All right, so I'm going to make a picture of some tea. And usually I don't drink it in a teacup because that's kind of fancy at home. We usually just do our mugs. And I have a little um, hot water inside, just like in the picture. So I'm gonna put these little lines to say it's hot. And then my little tea bag is hanging out like that, okay? Sometimes I have iced tea and it's in a large glass and the tea's in there and it has some ice cubes in there floating around because I like iced tea. And then I usually there's a straw right in our glass if it's an iced drink, okay? So there we go. Let me go ahead and um, color those pictures in. So let me see here. I think I'll color my mug red. And then of course you may not do this sentence. You may do a different sentence like grapes or pie or water. And so you would draw a different picture than I would. Okay. So there's my mug. Coloring it in. And then tea, generally, tea is pretty dark. So I'm gonna color it a dark brown color. Oops, that's the wrong one. Brown, where are you? Oh, brown, a second ago. There you are. Okay, so I'm gonna color my tea in brown. And then, of course, my tea is also, iced tea is kind of a darker color too. So I'm gonna color that around my ice cubes like that. There we go. All right, so now all we need to do after we do our illustrations is color in, it says color in a kid every time you read the sentences. And so we read the sentences twice, so we can color in two kids and then we just have to read them one more time. So now if you're still working on your illustration, this would be a great time to press pause. If you are done with your picture, then you can color in two of the kids because we read it once and then we read it twice. So we're going to do one last read. And you might be wondering, why are we reading this so many times, Mrs. Zara? Well, I'll tell you why. The more times you read something and practice it, the better you're going to get at it, okay? Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay, so let's go back up to the top here and let's read these sentences again. All right, so let's get our pointer finger ready. And we're gonna read. Now, if you're not quite ready at the point where you need to be so that you can read these sentences, then you can always press pause on the video, okay? Here we go, friends. Let's read the first word and pointer finger. Here we go. Can I have some grapes? Let's go to the next one. Can I have some pie? Go to the next one. Can I have some tea? Go to the next one. Can I have some water? All right. And so now that we've read it for the third time, we can color in the last student or kid here, I guess is what they call it in the picture. And there we go. We have all three colored in. We learned a new sight word, the sight word sum. 
we read some sentences, highlighted our sight words, wrote a sentence, did some illustrations and some coloring. So great job. So let's go ahead and put this to the side and you're gonna go ahead and pull out your PR um, blend packet and it has a pretzel on it because PR says per, per as in pretzel, okay? So let's go ahead and pull that to the side. Let's take a look and see what we're working on. Okay, so for this assignment today, you're going to need a pencil for later because we have another assignment we're gonna be doing. So pull out a pencil and you're also going to need scissors. Grab my supplies too. Scissors and glue. And then I think that's it for these assignments, these next two that we're going to do. So let me go ahead and let's take a look here. So we are sorting pictures with the PR sound and PR says per. So on this side, the left side, we're going to put pictures that have the per sound in them. And on the right side, we're going to put pictures that do not. So let's take a look and preview what we have for pictures down here on the bottom. So this first one is a pretzel, watermelon, printer, pumpkin, present, safe, sandals, and press. So you can see someone pressing. All right, so our job is to cut the bottom part off very carefully, cut straight across, just like this, okay, so that we have that piece, and then we're going to cut out the squares, so we have the next piece. All right, so there we go with that, and then we're going to cut straight across like this, and cut each one of these squares out, just like that. And then we're gonna sort them out. Now, if you still need more time to cut, this is a great opportunity for you to press pause, to get all caught up, get your pieces cut out, and then to go ahead and get them organized so that you can find them easily. Okay, so if you're not ready and you're not to this point, then you need to go ahead and press pause now. All right, now that we have all our pieces cut out and we are ready to go, let's go ahead one by one and take a look. So down here at the bottom, I have sandals, sandals. Does the word sandals have a per sound in it? Sandals, no, it does not. So those are awfully cute. They do not have a PR sound. Let's look at our next picture. A picture of a present. So go ahead and grab your picture that looks like this. Present. Present. Does that have the per sound in it? I do. I hear that at the beginning. Per, 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 present. Yes. So let's go ahead and put this on this side because we know the left side is the side we put all the pictures that do have the per sound safe safe does safe have the per sound in it safe no so it goes over on this side okay now let's find the picture that has the picture of someone pressing like you're pressing down on a button press 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 so does press have the per sound in it, it sure does so let's go ahead and put it on the left side Okay, here's our other picture. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Find your picture of a pumpkin. Does pumpkin have the purr sound? Pumpkin. No, I don't hear a purr sound in pumpkin. Okay, here's the next one. Grab the picture of the printer. 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 Does printer have the per sound in the beginning? It sure does. You can hear it. Per enter. Okay. Next one. Grab the picture of the watermelon. Watermelon. Does watermelon have the per sound? Watermelon. No. 
I don't hear that sound either. Last one, pretzel. Grab your picture of a pretzel. Does pretzel have the purr sound? Pretzel, purr. Yes, I hear the purr sound in pretzel. So there we go. And let's take a look here and see what we did. So we decided that present, press, printer, and pretzel all have the purr sound in them. We also decided that sandals, safe, pumpkin, and watermelon do not have the purr sound in them. So good job, everybody. Now, if you do need a few more minutes to sort out your pictures, this would be a great time for you to press pause. Okay. For those of us that are still working, we'll give them a few more minutes. You'll need to pull out your next paper and it looks like this. Let's build words with PR. So your first step is to grab a pencil. You're going to need a pencil, okay? And the first step is to, of course, trace all of these words. We're gonna write them out. So just go ahead and trace them, and then we will read them together. Just trace right over the top of the letters. Okay, so if you're still needing more time to trace, this is a great time to pause your video so that you have time to write all of these words out, okay? For those of us that are done with tracing, what we're going to do is we're gonna remember, PR says per, and then we're gonna sound the rest of the word out. So let's try it. Per, op, prop. So a prop is something they use um, like in plays or in shows. Like for example, if you went to see a play, maybe they would have different props of, for furniture and. Um, different things in the play that they're going to show you. It's anything that you would use um, like in a show or a play or a movie things. Those are called props. Okay, let's try the next word. Per, per, int, print. And we know what print means. It's either to, um, we could print something on like t-shirts. You can print like things, pictures, words on t-shirts or a we can print things from the printer and the printer will print things like um, things that we've worked on the computer, pictures we've made, or you can print anything on a computer, books and, and things from magazines, all kinds of things. Okay, let's look at the next word, per s press. So press, we talked about that when you press down on something, like if you pressed a button, okay? But it also means um, the people that make the newspapers and magazines, they use a press, a mechanical press to make all of those things that we read. Okay, here is the next one. Per owl, prowl. That means that like maybe if your cats go out at night, they like to prowl and look for um, different kinds of animals and things, they're on the prowl tigers and lions and things, they'll go on the prowl looking for something to eat, okay? So down here at the bottom of our picture, we have all of these PR blends, and then we have some of these special different sounds here to build words. So what we need to do is we need to carefully cut all the way across, just like this, and then put that there, just like we did with our last activity. You guys should be very good at cutting at this point in the year because you have had lots and lots of opportunities to cut things, especially if you've been doing all the work all this year um, with all of our letters of the week and our blends and sight words and all those things that we've been doing. All right, so let's cut straight across like this. And just keep cutting like that. All right, and then go like this. And then I'm going to organize them because we know all the words are gonna start with PR. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of those up here at the top. 
just like this. And now there's going to be four with PR, and then the rest of the sounds we can just sort out here. All of these single letters in the middle. Okay. There we go. Okay. So if you still need more time for cutting and organizing your sounds, then this would be a great time for you to press pause. All right, so let's take a look and see what we need here to build our words. So we're looking at the word prop. So we need a PR. Each one of these words is going to have a PR in the first spot, okay? So we know that's gonna be PR. And then that sound has an O, of course, grab your O, glue that down. And then the last sound is a P. Now, I'm looking here, and this could be very confusing for you. So sometimes Ds and Ps, you could turn it around, that's a P. So if it's upside down, if it's like a D, you can always use it as a P. Just turn it around like that, okay? Sometimes we get confused, and then we're like, I don't have any Ps. So I said, oh, you know that P is, that D is just upside down. You need to flip it around. Okay, so that's the word prop. Let's do the next word, print. So, of course, we know PR. Okay, and then that middle sound, I. So, grab your I. And then the NT, grab that. There. Per int print. Okay, and then, of course, this word has PR at the beginning. And then we have an E. And then we have an S, S. And so we see that right here. Okay. There we go. Okay, last one. So we did the word press. Last word, prowl. So P, R. And then the next sound is O. WL, our last one. Okay, so let's take a look here and see growl, and let's read the words that we have made. Now, if you still need a few minutes to uh, either cut, you're still cutting or building your words, this would be a great time to press pause, okay, until you get all your words built. All right, so now that we have all our words built, let's go ahead and read the words. Get your pointer finger ready. Here we go. Remember, PR says per. Per op prop. Per int print. Per s press. Per owl prowl. So we've got a lot of new words that we built with our PR blend today. Okay, so let me switch over. All right, so thank you for learning with me today. Until we meet again, I wish you a great day, and I hope that you get lots of new learning done, and I hope that you have a good evening. Until next time, everyone have a great day. Bye-bye.